In the eastern French city of Reims, France's interior minister Gérard Darmanin surveyed damage from recent unrest and met police. More than 40,000 police officers have been deployed in France in recent nights. Darmanin said it was thanks to them that the situation in the country is calmer. There were almost 300 municipalities in France that experienced this kind of violence. But there aren't places that usually see this sort of urban unrest. The national and municipal police did what they had to do in the first few days, and we can see the result. At town halls across the country, people gathered, fed up with unrest that's destroyed personal and public property and put lives in danger. This Paris suburb mayor's home was set on fire. They wanted to murder my wife and our two young children in their sleep and burn them alive by trying to burn down our house. The violence that followed the killing of 17-year-old Nael by a police officer last week seems to have subsided, unlike the French government's problems that are far from over. In the Paris suburb of Nanterre, where Nile lived, unemployment and poverty are widespread. Opportunities scarce and some young people say the police harass them. We'll continue to urge the state and the government to do all they can for us here. And we'll continue to fight for equality and social justice for Nanterre, this town that we are also attached to. More than 200 mayors are scheduled to discuss their concerns with the French president at the Elysee on Tuesday, a meeting that comes six years after Emmanuel Macron was elected and promised to help France's poorer neighbourhoods, saying no one would get left behind. A promise many here say has yet to be fulfilled. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.